of seeing Queen Latrine, AKA Beth Rains. But I need to talk to you about using a latrine. Have you ever used a latrine? I have. I've been camping at the council campsites and they have latrines and they are nothing, nothing, nothing to be scared of. See, I have my scepter here, but we really don't need those at latrines. That's just for the effect. Do you like my cape? It's an old shire curtain. And of course I have my crown because I am queen of the latrines. When I have to do outdoor ed, I'm the one that ends up teaching latrines. So let me talk to you about latrines. Come on in. So in a latrine, you have a door that opens and then you will have a room that has a toilet on a base. So now if you're going at nighttime, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you take a flashlight with you. Not to use in the latrines because normally they have a light, uh, light but you gotta get from your campsite to the latrine and you wanna see where you're going and you don't wanna step on any, trip on any tree roots or anything like that. When you go camping for the first time and you get there on site, what's the first thing that happens? I gotta pee, I gotta pee. So your unit leader, troop leader would want to make sure that you have a broom close by and you can go in and you wanna get all the cobwebs down. Ooh, there's a couple, lost my crown, oh well. Get all those cobwebs down, take care of them. Okay, not a big deal. You might have to do that every day. These spiders, they just like to be in there, not a big deal. So, when you use a latrine, you gotta make sure there's toilet paper. So leaders, make sure that is the last thing you put in your car and you can get to the easiest because toilet paper, we all know is essential, especially in pandemic times. So you want to keep your toilet paper in an enclosed container because if you don't, mice like to make nests out of it. None of us like to see mice nest. So make sure you have a covered container. Troop leaders and older girls, if you are having that monthly event and you need to know what to do with them, they do not go in the toilet. But you should have a can or a bag that may be hung up on the spring of the door, but you have a can that has a bag in it. You wrap your feminine products in it and you put it here. That should be emptied every day. Now, the other thing is, girls like to go into the latrines and play, and that's okay. My big thing is, never use your flashlight to look down in a latrine. Oh my gosh, is that the ugliest stuff you've ever seen. And also you wanna be very careful because if your light flashlight is on and you drop it, nobody's going in after it. It's down there for a long time. And if it's still on, it'll be shiny until the batteries wear out. I read that on Facebook. So, nothing to be scared of. Oh, another thing. To help keep the smell down in the latrines, if you leave the lid up, it will continue to stink. Does anybody like to go to a stinky bathroom? I don't think so. So let's remember to put our lid down when we're done and we all will have an enjoyable latrine event. Thanks for coming back.